when do you break fornication, lesbianism, and gayism? I have met a lot of ladies that told me that they don't like guys, they like ladies. This is not a cliche. I have met them. These ones, no matter how much beautiful, handsome, fine, whatever Prince Charming you are, they don't care. They like the most ugliest of the ladies. They just love them. It's what is called inordinate affection. Inordinate. It's in Romans, I think, 1. Where people lose their taste for normal men to women. In outside country now, they have even legalized it, right? You can marry a guy, you can marry a lady. Ask yourself, how did we get there? That me like this, look at Kai. I will just start telling Kai how much I love him. Hi! What did I love in him? Because when the lady, when, see, an average guy, when he comes to lady and tell her I love you, maybe he saw her fine face, he saw her big breast. I'm talking to you now as a youth. He saw a big breast. He saw the big butter. He saw... Ask many guys. They will tell you. What brought them to you may not be anything. Because many of you have no virtue. Not because you can pray. Not because you are a business or the other person. Not all what they are. No wonder what they want is to sleep with you. So when they get that thing, they move to another person again. If you don't have anything to offer to a man apart from all those contours and everything... When it is done, it will work out again. Soja come, soja go. Barak remain the same. The truth is this. Many women love women. I have met a lot of them. And they are very, very jealous. Lesbians are one of the most jealous people in relationship. They can kill another lady because of this lady. Anytime you find yourself liking another lady, you need to pray for yourself. See, you need to retreat fast. While we are on campus, there's a lady that anytime ladies are bathing, she'll come and stay in the bathroom and be looking. <sighs> One of those our dear ladies called me and she said, This is what is happening. I said, That lady is a lesbian. She will approach you one day. She says, She always look at her. And one day she approached her and told her she loved her. She said, what will you do? I said, what will you do? Tell the lady to disappear before you call fire service. What do you mean? What do you mean what should you do? And the funny part was that one day I was with the lady. And the lady did not come. I told her, why is she with me? That what am I? What am I to her? What am I? I was like, wow. She keep taking her out, buying her things on her bed, day, doing all kinds of things. I said, this cannot be a normal law. It's strange. And they go together. And what did they do? They buy dolly. To satisfy themselves. Ladies kissing ladies. Ladies putting objects in themselves. A lady told me that now she cannot even look at her phone because anytime she look at her phone, she imagine putting it in a private part. And that's what they do to themselves. They take perf head, take this. That's what they do to themselves in their homes. That's why I fear rooms that is only ladies plenty and they love themselves very well. I suspect them. When you see ladies holding themselves, but you don't understand. Sir, it's a challenge. A lady told us, a lady told about how she went to a school boarding school and in the you know, every boarding school there is the class captain and is it the hostel captain the hostel captain which is a lady as she entered the ladies room she saw every lady naked and what were they doing everybody was either touching this one breast or this one this one everybody know when they touch they feel happy and the problem is this you need another person to touch you you if you touch it you will feel it you know, you are holy and thou. The Lord bless you. God, look at you. The way you are looking at me, I see you. I'm telling you. 
lady told me she would be doing her leg like this. That's what they would be doing themselves. I said, wow. A time came, I began to feel that every lady is involved in something or the other because all of them are problem. So I begin to wonder, how is it? I'm telling you. He said, immediately when she entered the room, they said, oh, come, come now, come now. She said, ah, which kind of Sodom and Gomorrah that was not destroyed, that God forgot? Ah! He said, don't worry, you will get used to it, you will get used to it. And that was how, one day, she was being naive, 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 naive. A lady that normally, she wouldn't even want to remove her clothes where people are, where ladies are. She'd be covering herself, covering herself. The lady asked, what do we have all ladies? Say, no, me, I wasn't trained like that. There are some ladies here that you know you cannot change your clothes with another lady. It's good. Don't, some lady will tell you you are being naive and shy. Enjoy your naiveness and shyness. It's good. Because when you open yourself like that, sometimes you create an attraction. And that power of emotional attraction is stronger than anything. People love their dog and they were kissing their dog. I have seen the lady kiss her dog. I say, you are mad. If you don't stop this thing one day, you will sleep with this dog. No, I'm telling you the truth. Hey, I love this. Oh, are you okay? I saw a lady kissing a small boy. All this small, they give you small child to hold. You are putting your mouth with the person's mouth. Mm. Small picking. You don't know what is wrong with you. No, you don't understand what I'm saying. So I'm even doing it to female small children. I know a guy, they give him a small child. And he was putting his hand in the child. This is our addictions. And that was how one day, those ladies cut that girl. And all of, two life story, all of them scraped their pubic head, hair and put it in a cup, put water. Force the lady to drink it. When the lady drink it, she said a spirit came upon her. And anytime she said another lady, she love another lady. And so we were in a meeting. After five minutes, she would go to the bathroom there. Touch herself small, small, small. She would come back. After small time again, she would go. What is wrong with you? She said every moment she feels like somebody touching her. And she prefer if a woman does it to her. No prayer, no whatsoever. Nothing men of God. No men of God can spiritualize anything. That's why I'm teaching you principles. There is the power of the scripture. Principle that we are laid down. If I tell you that pray for 100 hours, it will change. It may not change. That was how it became a challenge. And she said, now what happened to her was this that anytime she see a lady that had the tendency of lesbianism eh, her spirit talked to the lady's spirit. She collected double portion. Now when all those other ladies graduated and left the school she became the ogre recruiting other ladies. So there are ladies that actually have the tendency for lesbianism but they have not seen any lady to do it with her, with them. So, they are like that. But immediately, she meets you. If you have that spirit, there's something she, there's a way she will do it. There's a way you give people signal if you love them. One lady asked me that, how do husband and wife tell themselves that they want to go and have sex? I said, sometimes there are what I call unspoken language of communication. But I bet you if the man drop mud here, the wife knows that today, not today. You will come to the house and see more there if you drink it. You will help him miss his ration for that day. There are some that will have to put one kind of pant. There are communications that are done not with words. I get what I'm saying now. So she said that any time she look at a lady, there is something she would do to her. If the lady had the tendency of lesbianism, she would follow her. Do you know that I saw some ladies putting all these neck, neck, this thing, chain. Those things are things that lesbians put. It's an identification. 
And this one that they put in the waist back, some of them is, is still lesbian. Some of you put it for fashion. That's why some ladies come to you and they are they are too close to you like a boyfriend, but you don't understand. They are around you, my friends. The same thing with gayism. This thing I say is applicable to guys. I personally, I have met a lot of guys. While I was having in Kirby State, doing my NYSE, imagine Kirby State, not Port Harcourt or Lagos. A guy came and met me. You know, you wear white clothes. As a man of God, when I went there, the first time I wear the white clothes, he stopped there. Ah! I look at myself again. I walk small. That's why today I don't have any picture of NYSE. Any. How will I stand that kind of thing I put it online? Philip Zephas. A guy met me, see, the way I see you like this, you can satisfy women. And you can satisfy men. You have this, you have that. He said, for women, it's 150,000. He said, sugar mommy. For men, it's 200,000. He said, our area of business will be in Abuja, Lagos, and Port Harcourt. They will be flying us. Say, nobody will know we are doing this. Say, man must also. He said, that's the work he's doing. He showed me his account balance. If you don't know Jesus, and you are addicted to sex, you follow him. Now it's free sex with money. You see how people enter pornography and the rest. And that was how I cried to Jesus. I thought... I'm an evangelist. You didn't send me somebody that wants to be born again. You sent me somebody that wants to burn me again. And I told him that I love your proposal. When are we starting business? He called the woman. When he called her, they were laughing, laughing, laughing. He asked the woman, Are you in Portacon? I said, Yes, yes, she just left from Abuja and Portacon. He is bringing somebody with him. And I asked him, How are we going to do this? Are they not married people? He said, No, see, these are women that love sex more, and some of them, their husband cannot satisfy them. You get it? So they need guys, young guys that can help them. See, some of these other ones are politicians. See, some of them are just men that just like exploring themselves. So, so there are women that come from the U.S. He said they have a state that they buy. It's only them that are there. Nobody will even know will go there. That they have good cars. That tinted glass. We know even as we land in the airport, they just carry us straight to their place. We don't know. So, okay. Do you know? And I thought it was a joke. It was true. But the part of the story was that I didn't follow him, but he had to go. Sugar mommy, sugar daddy. And I thought this was just a joke until I met a guy again, came to me. In this area. I'm not lying. In Lafia here. To the Amba, specifically. You know, I will not lie to you now. I stand under God. The guy came to my room. He told me that, can I be his boyfriend? He will be paying me one one thousand every week. I will be sleeping with him. I was shocked and surprised. Today, if the guy see me, he will turn one side. But his secret is safe with me. I have told them I have had ladies come to me to sleep with them. Let me tell you the truth. You are living in a world where you can't run away from these possibilities. If you have any tendency in you, one day, what you are looking for, what is your addiction will be there. You want to drink, you will meet a guy that is willing to buy you one crate. You want to have sex, one day you will meet a lady that is willing to have sex with you till you die. One of our friends tell me one day they want to kill him. I said, I thought you say you are a capon. You have met someone like you. We thought this thing was something interesting until we realized you can rent a prostitute and keep on your house for a long time. We tried that and it was something else. We discovered it was vanity until vanity.
until I met another guy in ShopRite in Apu, in Abuja. He told me that he's a music he's a musician. That some senators called him that they will sponsor his album, but he must be sleeping with them. He told me that he's just telling me, but he's going to go and do it. I said, don't do it. God is going to provide for you. He said, nobody will know. I said, spirit bear witness. God bear witness. We don't do because people will know. No. We don't do because people will not know. Integrity and our chastity and medal of purity must be preserved. This thing will reduce you to a piece of bread. I told him never. So I'm talking to you today. He didn't go. They call, call. He didn't. Many senators, many politicians, they do this thing for rituals. Sir, we met a man now, a former senator's son, just some days ago. His father was into court. You thought you are just going to sleep with a senator, young woman, young man. You are going to be used for an initiation. No one that after you are done your life never made the same again. There are some that sleep with mad men. How do you then, when you find yourself with people that are gay and lesbians, what do you do? How was I able to overcome? The truth is this. All of this in the choir partner. You can never, never do this in alone. This is not like a masturbation that you do alone. No, you require somebody. Number one, ensure that you disconnect from the partner at all costs. At all costs. That lady that told you, I told you, she have run away from that classroom or in that hostel. She wouldn't have get herself involved like that. Try to manage the situation become a, friend, a problem. I know a lady that went to visit her friend at night. At night, her friend was touching her, touching her, touching her, touching her, touching her. Ha! <laughs> See, what was this kind of a thing? In the morning, she have to shout at the lady very well. Say, never try this nonsense with me. She pack her clothes and go away. Disconnect from them. Tell them the truth and go away. Don't remain there and say, he's my friend. Supposed to, he's my friend. If one day we are, I bath with my male friends, I do that. I don't care. But if one day we are bathing you, come on. From that day, I may not tell anybody. But from that day, from that day, that's the Alpha and the Omega. Your first and your last. Thus far shall you go and no more further. Learn to tell people the truth and disconnect from them. I'm telling you. Don't feel the pain. Just let them go. It's very hard, but I'm telling you to let them go. Send them a text, tell them it's over. Then, fast, go for deliverance. Look for somebody to pray for you because if you have engaged in even once or twice, something has entered you. Go for deliverance. Call a mentor. Call your pastor. Say, this is what I have done. Kneel down. Let him pray for you. And break any association, any spirit that's around. And never trade that part again. A lady told me that her husband, uh, her uncle's wife, she's married with children. She went to stay with them. But she also liked her. At night, she would come to her. And come and be touching her. And she would touch her too. Do you know that this lady prayed? Until when she told me, the only bad hour that she told me, when she told me, I called. I said, anytime the woman come, tell her I want to talk to her. I spoke with the woman. I said, never try that with her again. She said, eh, who are you? Pastor, you are not here with us. She will not resist me. She must fall to me. Da, 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 da. I said, okay. And do you know what the woman said was true? Because the lady has a tendency. 
So most times, if she doesn't tell me, they force you for the game. One day I tell her, pack your loot and leave the house fast. Let me see whether she will do that with your spirit. She left and today she's free. When you find yourself dealing with that, the greatest tool is to separate from the people. There is nothing to separate from the person. Say it's over. Tell the person the truth. And tell the person, if you dare it again, I will tell everybody that this is who you are. The person will keep going. Because all of them want their secret to be kept. <laughs>